In earlier chapters, we looked at using fast render works and final quality render works to produce renderings at two different levels of quality. We also talked about how to adjust individual render work settings by using custom render works. In all of these three cases, the rendering process meant that we needed to adjust light quality separately and also that the results would be realistic, that, that is, more similar to photos than to handmade drawings. Now we can go beyond fast render works, final quality render works, and custom render works by using render works styles, which are pre made combinations of rendering and light quality settings. We can use styles as shortcuts to reduce the amount of time we need to develop these renderings. And often we may not even have to tweak the settings at all, since one of the built in render work styles may already have just the right combination of settings that we need. RenderWorks comes with 16 pre-made styles. Six of them are based on artistic RenderWorks settings, and nine are based on custom RenderWorks options, which we've seen in the last chapter. If we'd like to create a photorealistic rendering, we select a style with a name that includes the word realistic. And if we'd like to create an artistic effect, we select a style with a name that includes the word artistic. Let's look at an example. The sample file for this chapter is already set up with a Heliodon. So let's open the file and switch to saved view one. So the first rendering we'll make will use a realistic render work style. We'll go to view, render work style, realistic exterior fast. And the second example will use an artistic render work style. So view, render work style, artistic shadow blue. Now where can we find render work styles? We can find render work styles in any of the following locations. The first one we'll mention is the render work style menu, which we get by going to view and then render work style. The second is in the view bars render mode menu. Just click on the teapot icon and find the styles. The third place is in the object info palette when we're using a viewport. So with a viewport selected in the object info palette, click on the background render drop down box, select render work style, and then choose a particular style that you like. The fourth place we can find styles is with the render bitmap tool, which we can access through the visualization palette. So we select the tool and then we click on the Render Bitmap Tool Preferences button to select a style. And then we drag the cursor over a portion of the scene to render. And then finally, we can find render work styles in the Resource Manager, which we can use while we are in a design layer. If we have used render work styles in a file already, we can find those styles in the Resource Manager's Resource Type column. So we go to that column and select render work styles. Then we can click on one of those styles, hold, and drag the style into the scene to render the scene using that style. So these are the basic operations we need to use render work styles. And in the next chapter, we'll talk about making new render work styles from scratch to suit our specific requirements.